Hi guys, I'm Bill Beto, and welcome back to <coughs> Pyrion Galactic Survival Project Eden. Now we have gone to Shankara. We're on the lookout for a restroom. So let's scroll in a bit. So we were at Ustia. And we flew over to Shankara. And it looks like from Shankara we could do a long jump to the Zoroth asteroid field. Or to Kirgor. I wonder what Kirgor has. Zoscosium. Extreme gravity. 4.42 gravity. Okay. And incredibly hot. And very radioactive. Okay. Don't think I'll be going there in the old green machine. So we're in orbit. There's a Polaris freighter there. And there are two pentaxid asteroids here. Or at least what call themselves pentaxid asteroids. I've never really seen anything quite like them. Since I am going to be burning through Pentaxid, let's see if we can mine them. <coughs> it's a bit like the uh, ore deposit without the um, without the asteroid. Hopefully there are no hostiles anywhere near, so that should be cool. <coughs> and that's just crushed stone, so. Now I've seen a few Polaris vessels in orbit around here. We may occasionally get a warning that um, there are too many structures in orbit. Um, but that's because I think the um, scenario itself has quite a few structures in orbit. It's not because players have put stuff there. I shall mention to the server owner. Let's see if they can fix that. Although I think 10.5, Alpha 10.5 is just around the corner, so um, I'm guessing things might need to be updated for 10.5 anyway. As from the patch notes, it looks like there's quite a bit of um, quite a lot of new stuff coming in 10.5. Right, I'll leave a little bit of that just in case somebody else finds it and is in desperate, desperate need of pentaxid. But we got an extra 93, and for some reason I already had 33 in my. Uh, Inventory. Not quite sure why. Now let's have a look through the planets and moons. So Shankara has a restroom. 0.95 gravity. Reasonable temperature by the looks of it. No radiation. Shankara 1 moon, 
Fantaxid. Snow Moon. I quite like the Snow Moons. I could do with more Magnesium as well. But let's look at Shankara 2 Moon. Very similar, but Lava. Okay. Well. Let's go down to the plot. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cold on my chest, so a bit of coughing going on, I'm afraid. It can take weeks to shift that kind of thing. There's some markers there, but at least one of those appears to be inside the planet, which is a bit strange. Syndicate munitions freighter. Oh no, it's... There you go. Don't think we're going to find out what that one is. Must be the other side of the planet. Okay. Now, I don't have huge amounts of copper. I do have some, but... It's underwater. Looks like it is. Uh, just take the auto level off. I won't collect lots of copper because <coughs> I rush from is the goal, but when I was sorting out all the stuff from my last episode, all the loot, I did notice that copper was my uh, the weak link in my supply chain. Some of these nodes are quite big though, so... Yeah, 109. Generally, if you have to leave your drill on something in order for it to pop, that's a good sign, because it means it's a bigger, bigger block. Whereas if it pops straight away, it's a small, it's a small amount. Go, 127. I do love this kind of mining. Hundred and thirty-five. Now I've, I've picked up quite a few over a hundred bits of copper. Yeah, seven hundred. That's more than enough for my needs. Let's keep on looking for a restroom. Oh, I haven't got a lot of fuel left. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, I haven't got a lot of fuel. Okay. Have I got any more fuel anywhere else? No, but I have got Prometheum. So I could make fuel. The only thing is, I'm then using the, I'm then using the small constructor which burns energy. So I'm kind of using energy to make energy, which is kind of slightly uh, but it wouldn't be good to run out. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can see now we're instead of being at eighty four percent when we're just flying along. We're at ninety five. Alien cultus sepulchre sepulchre. Okay. Can't actually see anything because of the storm. Which is rather disconcerting. We've got our shield on and functioning though, so Alien Cultus Village. Oh. I'm not keen on taking these things on in the dark when I've never come across them before. I know what the DSE 2 mid is. Oh, and there's a drone protecting it. See if we can get any loot from that drone. And see what we got there. Nothing that desperately exciting, but you know. Oh, there's a little alien dude. Yeah, I hear you. What do we get if we loot you? Did I land on top of you? I did. It was plant type stuff, wasn't it? The fire moss scrapings. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Um, you use those for medical stuff. Where's the fridge? Well, I think we'll fly around a bit more. It could be that this planet is always stormy. So I may have to do those things in a storm, but... I would rather... Is that going to shoot me? Oh, yep. Looks like it's got crossbow kind of attachments. Right. Again, I would prefer to be able to see what I'm doing. And what I'm actually down here for is a restroom. Which side of the planet am I on? Well, that's really hard to tell. I think this is daylight. <coughs> but wow. I don't think I'm short of Prometheum, to be honest. I'm not short of Cobalt or Neodymium. Let's just look at the map. Ah, there were only three restroom deposits. Now, on the ocean planet that I built the base on, there were three restroom deposits, but they were all very small. So who's our in Talon territory? That's okay. We're friendly with Talons. So I'm wondering if the three deposits on this planet will be really, really small as well. Although I think this is an inherently more dangerous planet than the than the water planet, so you would hope it would be better, a better sized deposit. Iron. Who 
Interesting looking plant life down there. Now I can see a couple of things on the radar saying that it's west. A load of things saying north. Um, let's head north. <coughs> and possibly a bit west. An Indian cultist village. like a shrine or something similar unknown artifacts here yeah. okay alien cultist village and alien unknown artifacts Few deposits, all pretty small. And it looks like there's drones down there in the in the gloom. those bits probably into the input yeah picked up some more fuel so we'll keep that topped up ouch oh something's attacking me There's any drones on the radar, but wow, that did some serious damage to my um, serious damage to my shields. So I wonder if that attack was coming from the cultist sepulchre. That's going to burn through my field, but let's get the shields back to a hundred. Mostly cloudy. Good job it didn't try shooting me, whatever it was. Yeah, it's very hard when you can't actually see. See if we can't blow ourselves an entrance at the top. Is that a core? Maybe not. Maybe it was. safely get out there? I can. <coughs> Let's have a weapon in hand. God, I love the epic shotgun. Nothing shooting my vehicle. No sign of any drones. Oh, 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 oh. 
Now, have we successfully disabled it? Let's just check. Yes, we have. So nothing should be spawning. But I'm just very distrusting of those spawners. So I usually take them out just to be doubly super sure. What's in there? A laser minigun. Awesome. Uh, I love that. I'll take that. Oh, lots of fuel. That's really handy. <coughs> Lots more fuel. I never use the Zeno steel blocks, so we'll just trash those. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let's eat that. Let's trash that. There we go. <coughs> oh, I can fuel this up from here. How handy. Let's just put this in cargo. Actually, I might keep um, the fuel on me. And let's go for a bit of a wander. Yeah, so taking out the... Um, behind there. Taking out the core at the top wasn't entirely a fluke. Uh, I did kind of expect it to be there. Placement drones coming in by the look of it. That's good. Always a bit nervous about pulling switches. Easy way to blow stuff up. back here. Well, that's just the one I came down in. Okay. Let's go down this one. What's that? Oh, three pence oxid. <coughs> Ah, I still need to make some more multi-tool charges. Keep forgetting about that. Stuff we dropped on the floor. I 
don't have a lot of oxygen, so that's not a bad thing, really. Oh, that is an absolute load of oxygen. Yeah. That was very good. That door just leads outside. There's a container. Right, so let's put some stuff back in the ship. You gotta love logistics. Uh, actually, some of that stuff should be input, not. Um, I'll trash that. Oh, there's a drone coming in. Oh dear, that might be bad. I'm a long way down. Come on, up you go. Is it coming in or is it just... Uh, where's the other elevator? Uh, or is my ship just off here? My ship, it's up there. Come on. There's the one going up. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's the old green machine going? Come on. Can't see it. Ah, it's there. Oh! That was a bit scary. I do not want to get stuck on the planet. I think they were probably just going to replace the ones I chopped down at the deposit. But you do not want to be that far away from your vehicle with enemy drones knocking around. Oh! Oh, oh, that does not sound pleasant. <coughs> yep, I was going to pick up some um, fiber, but... Those guys can do a variety of unpleasant stuff to you, so... I don't want to pick up any nasty, <coughs> nasty, unpleasant illnesses. Alright, let's go to the fridge. Pop that stuff in the fridge, trash that. Go to fuel, just pop that in there. Go to input, pop that in there. Go to the cargo box, pop that in there, and then we're good. Right, okay. Now. Let's park somewhere near the bottom. So if drones come back, we don't have quite such the same problem again. Huh. There's a fuel container. Let's see how much fuel we can get out of it. Wow, loads. It's awesome.
<clears throat> Just keeping an eye on the radar for any more visitors. Okay. We'll drop some of that off in the cargo box. Spare advanced constructor never goes amiss. And I think most of the rest. Oh, hang on. Can go and input. There we go. And that stuff can go in there. Awesome. You know what we'll do? I'm just a bit nervous about those drones coming back. What we'll do... We'll head back to the old green machine. And we'll just send the drone out looting. <coughs> Rather than my person. Because then I can get back to the drone very quickly if I need to. <coughs> What's in here? Out on out. <coughs> These heavy duty windows are a good source of materials, so. It's worth picking them up. So are those fuel tanks. <clears throat> Wonder why they had a thingy what's it there? Strange. Let's keep on going down. What have we got here? Oh. So you can't loot those containers with the drone, but you can destroy them and then pick stuff up this way. Uh -huh. Pop some stuff across. Trash that. And that. Put that stuff in the cargo box. And pick that up. What's down here? Nothing much by the looks of it. Right. Uh -huh, we've got more. I've already looted the O2 out of here, so the containers are just uh, materials now. But useful materials. All right, we've done those ones. Mm. 
Oh. Fancy container. Oh, 53 pen taxes. That was worth doing. That's just a gun. It's a container with more fuel, some medium armor. Why not? It's all good. So this base is like a treasure trove. And obviously it would be lethal if it was active. Um, right, let's go up a little bit. Anything else up here? I think we've already done that room. There's more of these things up here, so... Drop those. Got some water. And I won't be able to pick that up, will I? No. So let's just throw that away. We can't. Let's throw that away. And pick that up. And then go back to the ship and drop stuff off. Cargo box four. Let's take that fuel out of there. Right, so we've got loads of loot. Loads and loads of loot. Go back to input. Got plenty of pentaxes. Uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. We haven't picked up any of restroom. Must have been doing this, have we? Or oh, fourteen. Yeah. Better than nothing. Right. Well, I didn't actually come to loot this, so. Uh, I came out for a restroom. Ah, save him. Oh well. It's all useful. I might as well check each wing of this base though because uh, I've done this one, haven't I? Oh, copper. Yeah. That one we just done. I think it might be. Let's try this one. I'm not bothering with the the little stuff. 118 silicon. Uh, yep. Four. Cargo box. Actually, let's take those bits out of there. Let's just put those in building. And I think there might be one more wing to look at. So if you lived on this planet, you could every day just come and loot this place. Oh, we've done that one. Right, I think we've done them all. Right. Let's check the fuel situation. We're doing good on fuel. And we've picked up an absolute ton of fuel. Haven't we? Yes, we have. <coughs> Let's check what we've got anywhere else. Output. Now oh, we've got 60 little ones. Let's put those in input. Building. Cargo box 4. Uh, 
So we've got a load of oxygen, a load of fuel. We don't need multiples of those. <coughs> pop that in there so yeah so I made 60 of that did I make 60 of that? yeah 60 of that but we've picked up 206 small fuel packs 63 large and 41 fusion cells so that's certainly the fuel for our small vessel sorted for quite some time to come right I think daylight might be West. Quite hard to tell, but let's head that way. Still want to see if I can find an restroom deposit. An ancient outpost. An ancient watchtower? Heading for daylight. What I'm going to have to do, I think, is refit the old green machine totally because the shield takes a bit of energy. So it's it's no good just flying along on a 1G planet and bouncing up into the over 100% fuel usage. Um, Lots of deposits, but no restroom. It's got a drone, some ruins, more cobalt. Seems to be lots of cobalt. So yeah, the power generation on the old green machine used to be fine, but having the shield on <coughs> sort of permanently uses bit of your energy. So it means I'm constantly heading up into the 120%. And that just chews through your fuel usage massively if you do that. Right. Defence. I don't think I particularly want to take on the drone base, although it might be sat on the restroom, you never know. Wouldn't surprise me. Bit of lag. No sign of a restroom though, so let's head north because we've got quite a bit on the radar to the, or we did have quite a bit on the radar to the north, I think. And we're in daylight now, so <coughs> hopefully that will work. Seems to be more and more to the west on the radar. That's the trouble with this radar, though it could be northwest, southwest. Polaris territory, that's okay. We're friendly with them. Or not even. Now then. Scavenger base. Factory. Oh. Don't think I've come across an oxygen factory before. There's no drones around, there's no deposits around, so <coughs> let's land and see what an oxygen factory is. No guns. Okay. Got 
refrigerator. What do you sell? Food. <coughs> I actually don't have a lot of food on me. Uh, let's buy a ham. You never know, there might be other traders in here. I've never... Never explored the base before, so I don't actually know. Market Cafe. You're just a foodie type person as well. Have I got any credits? I've got a feeling that in here somewhere... Yep, not many, but you know. Pay for a burger, anyway. No more, no more. And I do like the ka -ching noise that makes. I'm guessing taking anything out of those would be instantly hostile, yeah. at the ground floor. Okay. What's through here? Okay, that's just the bottom of the base. So yeah, if you were hostile with Polaris, you could come and take this place over and uh, get quite a lot of loot in the way of um, oxygen and fuel, I should think. But since I'm honoured and I don't really want to annoy them... Oh wow. Yeah, you could get tons of stuff out of here if you were attacking it. <coughs> but I do not wish to upset them. Well, there you go. I think I've seen the parts of the oxygen base I want to see. Was it worth it? I don't know. What's through here, store? Let's see. Okay. Cool. Not a great deal of use to me, but there we go. What's the scavenger base? I wonder. That door's too small for me to fit through, is it? Yes, it is. Well, I could kind of do it sideways on. Yeah. Ah. So at least I'm inside. Safe from passing drones. Lights and machine room. Hmm. What's, what's up here? I wonder if a scavenger base might have other traders. Only one way to find out. Bet you're selling food. Oh no. Oh. You'll buy boosts off me. Ah, no, that's interesting. And possibly medium armor. Hmm. Now I think.
think most of my boosts are back in the capsule vessel. But I could sell you a medium armor, which will improve my credits quite considerably. Yeah. And I'll sell you a multi boost, because I've got plenty. And a radiation protection boost. And you'll buy an EVA boost as well. Awesome. That's very good of you, sir. Fantastic stuff. So that's rather boosted my um, my credits. Let's see what's up here. Any more traders is really what I'm looking for. Components basic. No, don't really need to talk to you. Okay, well, that's good to know. What's up here? Okay, medical. Ah. So there's a, ni there's a ni <coughs> nice range of tra traders in this scavenger base. <coughs> I was kind of hoping there might be an advanced um, weapons trader, but you know, it's all good. So we've discovered quite a bit of new stuff. We've um, not found the restroom yet, but you know, we'll keep on looking. And how do I get out of here now? I think we'll leave this episode here. We'll take the ship back into space and we'll come back down to... Um, oh, are you traders? No, you're not a trader. No, and you're moving, so you're not a trader. Okay. <clears throat> we'll unload our stuff. And we will come back and continue the hunt for a restroom. But for now, from the scavenger base, we shall leave it there. Bye for now, guys.